All right, and I think we are live. Yes, we're live. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. Uh, let us know if you can hear us and you can see us okay, because I haven't done any live streams for a week, which is really unusual for me. So, yeah, I hope everything's working okay. Uh, and yeah, we're here today to play Pillars of the Earth. Nick and Gemma have joined us again. Hi there. Hello. Um, and yeah, Pillars of the Earth. So I'm going to be teaching them how to play, and then we're going to be playing through it. Just a quick overview of the game. I have the book here. So this is from a charity shop. This is Ken Follett, Pillars of the Earth. When was it? Done. See, whenever somebody has a picture of like that, you think <laughs> that was taken 20 years before. Oh, that's a hairstyle. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find out when this book was actually first printed. First published in 1989. Okay, okay. so there's a book from 1989. Um, and this is a game based on the book. If you haven't read the book or watched the TV series, I highly recommend it. It's really good. Really good book. TV series is good as well. Right, so um, it is, what year is it? Don't know, 13th century, I think it is. Okay. You can tell how old this book is, £5. Pound for oh, this. <laughs> bargain. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I think it's something like 13th century or something like that. And it's all about this cathedral that's being built. Yeah. Um, which is in the centre of the board. And we're going to be building up the cathedral as the game goes on. Okay. Better than this, we're actually <laughs> going to build a proper cathedral. <laughs> there are six pieces to the cathedral because the game plays over six rounds. Okay. Uh, we're going to track our victory points around the outside of the board. Yep. We all start with two points because you can lose points in round one. Mm -hmm. So that's why we start on two. Um, each round is divided into various phases. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be gathering resources. There is wood, stone, uh, I think it's sand or is it gravel? Um, and there's metal. Mm -hmm. And we will be using our craftsmen. Each okay. of us starts with three craftsmen in front of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And other craftsmen that we can acquire during the game mm -hmm. to convert those resources into points. Every time you see a number in an arc like that, it yeah. means points. So you can see here your woodworker, up to four times you can convert two wood into a point. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's how it works. Okay. I've laid the cards out like this. This is the first of my house rules that I'm using tonight. <laughs> this isn't really a house rule, but okay. these cards are not supposed to be visible. Right. They are, these are the ones for round six, mm -hmm. then round five, round four, round three, round two, round one. Yeah. They will get put in a pile. Mm -hmm. However, there is an advantage once you know the game and once you know what cards are coming out. Okay. That's why they're all there. Because mm -hmm. it's it's kind of open information, yeah. but it's hidden from you at the start of the game. So I've put them all there so you can see mm -hmm. what's going to be coming out later on. Okay. Okay. Uh, currently zoomed in, Paul. Oh, yes, I am zoomed in. Thank you. Oh. There we go. Right. Yeah, I've got a zoomy in thing, so we can we can do that later on. And I okay. forgot when I was zoomed in. So anyway, I was explaining. Here's the cards, and, and I've got them all visible, but you wouldn't normally do that. Once yeah. you all know the game, mm -hmm. or you've got these printed on a cheat sheet, yeah. you probably just want to put them in a stack, because mm -hmm. okay. it takes up less space. But that that's fine. Yeah. Just know that these are the cards that are going to come in on round one. Yeah. These are the cards that will come in on round two, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. 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 Um, so yeah, you're going to be getting craftsmen, um, but there is a worker placement part of the game as well. Okay. In that, every round, some cards are going to come out, mm -hmm. which they're supposed to be dealt out here, but I'm going to deal them out here because I'm a rebel. <laughs> and you will use your workers to basically go to the forest, the quarry, and the gravel pit to get these resources. Okay. Okay. You are limited on how many workers you've got. I think you have 12. Okay. There's one big one that counts as five. Two, three, four, seven little seven. ones. Yeah. And any worker that you don't use in a round, you put here in the wool. Mm -hmm. Woolen okay. manufacturer. And you get a gold. So for every one you don't use, you get a gold. Okay. Um, this game works, uh, the worker placement, the way that it works is we're going to have a phase where we place and the workers, sorry, the workers are what get you the resources, mm -hmm. the master builders are what you place on the board, which is your worker placement part of the game. Okay. Okay. The, we will have a phase in the game where we place them all mm -hmm. and then everything will resolve. Okay. So it isn't resolved when you place it, they're yeah. all placed first and we resolve them in numeric order. So far, first of all, we have the event. Uh, then we have here, and then we go all the way down here and all the way up to here. For okay. those of you watching, you may notice the board is in German. I have the German copy of this game, mm -hmm. but I have done paste-ups for all of the cards. <laughs> so, let's complete the setup. Yeah. These are the two event cards that are going to happen mm -hmm. in the last round. Not, sorry, not event cards. These are the... can't remember what they're called. Something cards. Okay. These are the ones that are going to happen in the last round. I'll show you these now. Uh, the king appears at the ceremonies, you receive one metal, mm -hmm. or the cathedral is near completed, you receive one stone and one wood. Right? Okay. They are always the two cards that are going to come the last round. The rest of the cards, there's 14 of them, so we give them a shuffle, Yeah. we take out four, 
and then we put five on there and five on there okay so at the start of each round the top card will get revealed mm -hmm. and you can put one of your master builders here to take the card okay, okay. the events i think there are ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five mm -hmm. are good yeah five are bad okay mm -hmm. i'm going to give them a shuffle i'm going to take out four there is one event each round okay okay the event generally affects everybody mm -hmm. so if it's bad it affects us all if mm -hmm. it's good it still affects us all okay um right we need to pick a start player last person to have been to the cathedral or just the nearest one that lands to this oh that's you it's me right so i start with 20 gold yeah jeremy you start with 21 nick you start with 22. gold okay. can never go above 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to indicate that i'm the start player i'm going to take this piece okay because at the end of the round I'm going, to, I'm going to put that piece there okay okay start player will go clockwise at the end of each round mm -hmm. but there is a way that you if you go there you become the start player for okay. the next round okay okay uh that is super important once you know the game okay <laughs> and you know these cards okay because if you want this card in the last round mm -hmm. You want to choose that space on round five yeah so you can choose so that you'll round. be a, yeah okay, okay so th there's a bit of the bit there's a bit of that in the game yeah right okay andy said he sold this at 2017 it was rare at the time yes yeah, so i bought two games of the proceeds yeah it, <laughs> until the reprint it was um <laughs> it, it was quite hard to get hold of cosmos are in the chat as well thank you for joining in right let's go into a few more details then so six rounds let's go through the different phases okay I've got my printed out English rules here. Uh, so phase one, selection of the resource cards. There are nine resource cards here. Mm -hmm. Every round, we take all nine, we shuffle them, and we deal out seven. Now, as I say, these are supposed to be placed at the bottom of the board. Okay. Six, seven. Okay, and I'm going to group them together. So all three of the quarries have come out. Mm -hmm. uh, two of those have come out, and two of those have come out. Right? yeah then what we do is we take these four cards mm -hmm. we give these a shuffle two of them go there at random and two of them go here okay we reveal the top two cards from here so ellen forecast your future you may look at the next event card at the start of each round mm -hmm. so you see what's coming that's mm -hmm. good um and i thought that was aliens <laughs> uh alina supports the building of the cathedral you get one wood per round now look at yeah. the top left of these cards mm -hmm. and let me just zoom in just so you can see there is an infinity symbol in the top left yeah there are three different types of icons in the game the mm -hmm. infinity means this has a permanent effect on you mm -hmm. for the rest of the game so okay. it's good that these have come out early yeah remember the top five cards in each stack were shuffled mm -hmm. so these could have come out at the end that's a really good one to get at the start okay as is that one right um resource cards yeah we've done that right so phase one is in player order uh you either take a card or pass okay there are two types of cards there are the cards for the resources mm -hmm. and the number of workers that you have to place to take the card is shown in the top left right okay so for example if i wanted this card here yeah i would have to put eight workers now some people put them on the card personally i put them there okay and i take the card okay that's it you don't get the resources just yet mm -hmm. but when we come to resolve this location i will then get three stem i ask if i've only got seven workers then how can i put you, ten workers on that got, card? that's a five. Oh, that's a five yeah, is it? the Sorry. big ones are five. Oh, i see i understand okay okay um you can't take a card if you don't have the workers mm -hmm. you don't have to use all your workers when you pass any workers you've got left go here and they'll get you money the other type of card is the craftsman okay the craftsman's costs money to yep. buy okay and you see here this will cost two this will cost four you simply take the craftsman add it to your group of craftsmen you mm -hmm. can have a maximum of five yeah mm -hmm. so if you ever take a sixth one you've got to lose one okay the craftsmen do get better as the game goes on but that is your choice so i make the first choice to take a card or pass mm -hmm. obviously i'm going to take a card Gemma, you'll do the same it'll go round and round and round until we all pass yeah okay that's that phase done the next phase is the master builder phase where we get the bag mm -hmm. and we will put our master builders in the bag yeah this is a really clever bit okay and then we shuffle them yeah and we take one out okay so it's normally the player who's 
turn it is who will do this. And whoever gets drawn out has a choice to either place this on the board, mm -hmm. but it will cost them seven money. Right, okay. Or say no. Mm -hmm. And if they say no, it goes there, and then it goes down to six. Okay. And then we choose the next one. Yeah. Okay. Blue, do I want to go? And yeah. I, I decide, oh, yeah, I really want that space. Okay. So I'll spend six. So I spend six money, that mm -hmm. goes there. Okay. okay. And it stays at six, it doesn't matter. I'll need to, down. I need to double check that. That's one of the rules I'm not 100% sure about. Uh, let me just check that. If you decide to place a master builder, you must pay the current cost shown uh, after you either place or pass, move the cost marker down one space. So it goes down. Mm -hmm. So it's now five. Okay. It goes on another. Eventually, once it gets to zero, mm -hmm. it's free. Yeah. But the bag will then be empty. Once mm -hmm. the bag is empty, everybody who's got a mark on here will then place in that order okay. for free. Right, okay. So if you say pass here, yeah, because you didn't want to pay seven, mm. you will get to place it for free, but after everybody else who wants to pay for it has placed it. Okay. Now, this is the, that's the normal rules of the game. Okay. Okay. I am going to be playing with a house rule today, which is a semi-official house rule. If you don't okay. like house rules, switch off now. <laughs> but this is a semi-official one. Yeah. Uh, and it was actually introduced with the expansion set because this, this mechanism is really good, mm -hmm. except when your three get come out mm. and yours don't. Yeah. That's when it's a problem. It doesn't happen all the time. Normally, mm. it's like, oh, it's one of yours, one of mine, yeah. one of yours, one of yours. That's what normally happens. But sometimes mm -hmm. one player gets all three out mm -hmm. and the other player doesn't get any out. Yeah. Ah. Mm. So the house rule is, and again, this is not my house rule. It's just what I'm choosing to play. You only put two workers of each player in the bank, in okay. the bank. These extra three workers are just going to go here. Mm -hmm. The first player who places a worker on the board yeah. puts, their back puts that bag. one there. Oh, okay. Okay. The next player to put one on the board mm -hmm. puts that one there. Okay. And then that one will go there. After all, after the bag's empty, we then resolve this. Mm -hmm. And after we've resolved this, we then resolve that in that order. So the first player to go on the board mm. will also be the last player. And it just balances okay. out the look factor of when you get drawn out the bag. Okay. Okay. That's how that bit works. Right. Except I've put all back in the bag, haven't I? Yes. <laughs> okay. Then we resolve the different areas. Yeah. So area number one, yep. let's zoom in. Uh, right. Area number one is the event. Okay. We reveal the event. Yeah. If it's bad but you had a master builder on here, you are protected from the event. Mm -hmm. If it's good, then you can take a resource from the market. Okay. Okay, so it's not wasted. If it's good, you still get something from the market. Okay. That's what that space does. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, you get one gold for every worker there. Mm -hmm. Number four is basically here. If you were on there, you take that card. If you're on there, you take that card. Mm -hmm. okay. These are not craftsmen. Mm -hmm. So you can have as many of these as you want. Okay. Okay. Uh, number five, this is the Priory, very simple. Get two points mm -hmm. or get one point. Okay. Right, that yeah. easy. Uh, then we have the Forest, followed by the Quarry, followed by the Gravel Pit. That's where your cards that you took activate and mm -hmm. you will get the mm -hmm. indicated number of resources. Uh, then we go over here. Right, so at this point, this is an average dice. Okay, okay? this is taxes. So the dice is rolled. Mm -hmm. Every player must spend that amount of gold in taxes. Okay. If you are here, you don't have to pay. Okay. You're exempt from the taxes and you get a metal. Mm -hmm. If you're here, you just don't pay the taxes. Okay. What generally happens is somebody goes here mm -hmm. and then the rest of the people don't bother. Okay. Okay. If you don't have enough money to pay your taxes, you lose points. For every two gold you can't pay, mm -hmm. you lose a point. Okay. But that's what that does. Then we go up to uh, Shearing, which is the town. If you're on there, you get this yeah. for free. Okay. Okay, so forget the cost because you've kind of paid to place the master builder on the board. Yeah, already. So you get these for free. And then in the castle up here, you get these two grey workers. These are yours mm -hmm. for next round. Okay. Okay? Yep. Then we go to the market. The market is special because you keep going through the market over and over and over again in that order mm -hmm. until all players pass. Okay. And when it is your turn to activate in the market, you can buy or sell any one type of resource. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. You can also sell metal, but you cannot buy metal. Okay. Okay. 
So if I went there and nobody else did, I could say, right, I'm going to buy three sand, mm -hmm. and then I'll sell a stone, yeah. and then I'll buy a wood. That, okay. That's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything that you buy gets removed from there. Okay. So, and I think if you sell it, it goes back. And the price is here. Mm -hmm. And when you're selling it, are you limited by the amount of space that there is? I don't think so. So if it was full and you, want, <clears> and you only wanted to sell? Uh, if you sell resources, sell as many as you want and add them to the appropriate resource field. Collect gold for your sale. Move the gold scoring marker up as follows. Yeah, um, ah, doesn't say. Oh. And I can't. Re I can't remember. It says to sell as much as you want, which would imply sell it's as not many resources of one type from your supply and add them to the appropriate resource field, not the market. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So you can sell an infinite number, but it doesn't go to the market. It goes back to the resource mm. field. Okay. And does that get refilled every round? It does. Yes. Yeah. Um, Tom saying the game seems quite taxing. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Thank good. you, Tom. Only an um, accountant would make that joke. Yes. <laughs> Finally, uh, 13 is where we all use our craftsmen to generate points. So it's okay. actually a step on the board. It's step mm -hmm. 13. We all do that. Step 14, if you went there, you become the start player, mm -hmm. and then you build the cathedral. Okay. If nobody went there start player passes clockwise. Yeah, okay. That's it. There is no end game scoring. Okay. So it's all points that you gain during the game there's definitely a ramp up mm -hmm. when you look at some of these later ones yeah you will think oh yeah hang on a minute that's mm -hmm. good there's a couple of special ones the tool maker is special okay you have to have a metal if you have a metal you get two money mm -hmm. you don't spend the metal okay. okay it's just if you have metal you get two money the architect is simply you gain one point mm -hmm. every round okay okay mm -hmm. mention you only have five craftsmen mm -hmm. you take a sixth one you have to get rid of one your starting three craftsmen have exclamation marks on them. Mm -hmm. That means if you lose them, you lose an ability. Oh, okay. So if you lose your woodworker, you may not buy wood from the market. Okay? If mm -hmm. you lose your stone cutter, you may not sell stone to the market. Okay. And if you lose your mortar mixer, uh, you cannot use masons. Okay. Because thematically, the mason yeah. needs yeah. the mortar mixer in order to put the stones on. So that's what the exclamation mark's for. Just be aware if you do lose it. Mm -hmm. And it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Because if you're not planning to sell wood, or if you're not planning to buy wood from the market, just mm. get, get rid of it. Yeah. So you don't need it. So it's not like, oh my God, I'm going to lose something. Um, Did we talk about how you use these cards? I can't recall. Uh, briefly, but I can go through it again. Um, you basically, you, you've collected your resources. Yeah. You then spend your resources on these. So the stone oh, cutter... Okay. Two stone will get you one point, yeah. and you can use it four times. And at what point during the round do you <clears> do that? There. Oh, okay. Okay. At the end of the round, you can only have five resources. Okay. I think it's five. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm sure it's five. Yeah, five resources for the next round. Mm -hmm. Any resources you've got in excess of five, discarded. Yeah. Without any effect. Mm -hmm. And when it says you can only use it four times, is yeah. that each round? Each round. Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the chat it says um, selling is not restricted, but buying is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every time you buy, it removes it from there. Okay. Right. Have we got enough information to make a start? I think so. <laughs> That's a lot to take in okay. in a short I'm space cheating. of time. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to go first, <laughs> okay. and I'm going to buy. I'm going to spend two of my hard-earned cash, and I'm going to buy the tool maker. Okay. I'm just going to put it on there. You can just about see that. Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to have a bit of tea. Okay. So Gemma. Um, I'm going to spend um, nine workers mm -hmm. uh, to buy. Yep, so you put one. nine workers in the forest. Oh. And you take that card there. And I just put it you next to You put it these. somewhere nearby, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. there you go. That will go back at the end of the round. Okay, I'll ask a stupid question here. So Gemma's obviously bought the wood. It, what order do you want to? Is there an order to buy things in? Does it make? Is it just whatever the resources yeah. you think you can sell for? Is that right? Well, if you want to sell, or you use it for that. Okay, I see. Yeah, I mean, what what you need to be thinking about now is Gemma's only got three workers left, mm -hmm. so she can't buy anything that's too expensive. Any of those. The only other card that she could buy is that one. Okay. And this keeps going until we pass. This keeps going until we will pass. Okay. Well, with that logic, then uh, I will put those two there and buy this mm -hmm. card here. Um, and just remind people. Sorry, I'm asking what question about rules. It does these get discarded? They get put back in this pile at the end of the oh, round. Okay. And then all nine cards will get shuffled again, and yeah. we'll get a slightly different set. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
or exactly the same seven. Who knows? Right, I'm going to put six workers in the forest. I'm going to take that card there. Okay. So you can buy the mortar mixer or pass. I think I'm going to pass. Okay, so you just put all your remaining workers here in the woolen mill. Um, I will spend eight for three stone. Eight for three stone, Thank yeah. You. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put five in the quarry to take this card. So, Jemmy, you've passed. Jemmy's already passed. I'm going to pass. there. I'm going to pass as well. That is it. That's that bit done. Okay. Okay. So, Master Builder's time. Oh, there is another thing I forgot. <laughs> and I've just remembered. Um, the player whose turn it is, mm -hmm. once during this part, after drawing something out of the bag, can, can go, nope. Okay. Put it back in. Oh, right, okay. Okay. I kind of don't want to get drawn out for I do, because <laughs> there's something I want, but I don't, because I don't want to pay seven. So. It's me, isn't it? Well, I need to make the decision first about whether I'm going to put you back in, and I'm not. Okay. So, you either pay seven to go anywhere you want, mm -hmm. or say no. Um, I am going to pay seven, okay. and I want to go here, please. And yeah. I want to take this card. You don't take it just yet. Okay. Okay. Next. Oh, and because you were first to place, yeah, you will also be last to place. Mm, lucky me. <laughs> okay. Next. Uh, we'll go down six. It's me. I am going to pay six. Okay. And the reason I'm paying six is because I've got the toolmaker. Mm -hmm. The toolmaker is only going to work if it's got metal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I need the metal. Okay. okay? So I, th I think it's worth me spending six to go there. All right, it's now down to five. Oh, and I placed second. There we go. Do you want to pay five or not? Mm. Somebody grab Ellen. She's perfect for round one. It's true. <laughs> uh, okay, I will pay five and grab. There you go. Okay, right. One builder left in here each. Cost is now down to four. Mm -hmm. Hang on, before you decide, am I going to put that back or not? No, I'm not. So, pay four, or put it on here. So, sorry, can I ask mm -hmm. a question? I'm going to get four You're wood, gonna get four which wood. I can then convert to two points. You can convert two it to two point. points if you wanted to, or keep it. Do I need to be anywhere to do that, or does no, that happen? No, that just happens here. Okay. I don't think I will pay. Um, okay, so that goes on there. So it's down to three. I'm going to pay three. One, two, three. So I didn't use my ability. Remind me what that. I get two is. points. Two points. It's very simple. Get two points. Okay. Right. So it costs you two. Mm -hmm. You could choose not to pay two. Yeah. And then you'd go there, which mm -hmm. means then Gemma would go, and then you would go. Uh, I'll pass. I don't want to pay two. Okay. So that goes there. Right. So the bag is now empty, so mm -hmm. now we resolve the wheel, so you get to place for free. Um, can I have one point, you please? You get to place for free. So I can go down there and I'll avoid paying any taxes if I wanted to. Um, this one lets me look at the next event card, doesn't it? Nope. No? That means you will be protected from the event card if it's negative, mm -hmm. and if it was a positive event, you would get the benefit of the positive event, and you'd get a free resource from the market. I'll go there, please, Paul. Okay, and now we place in the reverse order that we put on the board initially. Okay. And this is for free as well. I think I'm going to go down here so I don't pay taxes. Mm -hmm. oh. I was going to take that to bed. <laughs> uh, and going here lets me take the start player. You'll be the round. start player next round. Right, okay. 
Um, or I can take either well, of these cards one of those for free. free. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the Mason is a is a it's stone for points. Yeah. It's a direct conversion. Um, yeah, I'll grab the Mason, please. Yeah, it's good for you because you. I bought some stone. Yeah, you got some stone. Right. Okay. No, so now we resolve the areas. So we do the event first. Do you want to reveal the event? I'd love to. Check out my homemade paste ups. The cold winter brings a, a shortage of food. The yield of all building material cards reduced by one. Okay. So you guys. Everybody. Well, except for you. Except yeah. For so me. you're all right, but that's now a one. That's now a two. Yeah. Okay. okay. So my four is a three. Your four is a three. That's not too bad. Um, and I get something free from the market, don't I? No, that's only if it was good. Oh, okay. 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 So I you're understand. protected from that. Right. Yeah. Next is the wool mill. So we all get gold. So I get one. Red gets three. Two. Yellow gets two. Yeah. Uh, then you get that card. Okay. Does this count towards my limit no, cards? No, not a craftsman. No. Okay. You get that card. Thank you. Um, now, when does that happen? I think that happens when you're getting the wood. The wood. So it Brilliant. would be pretty much now. Blue gets two points. Red gets one point. Okay, so wood. So I would get three normally, but actually I only get two. Um, so I would get, and you uh, get three, three this time. Yeah, there you go. And I get one, do I? You get one for that. Okay, yeah, thanks very much. There you go. Uh, now the quarry. So I only get one. You get three, three please. Yeah, I'll get those. And then you get two from the yeah two sand. Okay, I get one metal, and then we roll the die of taxes. Uh, the player in the archbishop's seat can take the effect of the negative event if they prefer to go to the market. I was just thinking that actually. Say that again, sorry. You can choose to be affected by this mm. and get a resource from the market if you wanted to. No, in because I've, case, I've been I've gained. Yeah. yeah okay. In your case, you'd say, "Oh, okay, I'll be affected by it and yeah. get a stone." Yeah. Which is exactly the. Mm. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, you want to be protected by yeah. it. Don't you? Thank you. But yeah, thank <laughs> you for that. So the taxes are four. We're both immune. Four for me, you have to pay four. One, two, three, four. And I got the metal, so that's that done. You get a mason. Okay, thanks. I get these two grey workers for next round. There's a black worker here. That will come into play at some point. Okay. Nobody went to the market. Mm -hmm. Right, we now all do our things. So I have a metal, so I get two coins. I'm not going to do anything else. Okay. Joe? Sure. And this wasn't bought, so that gets removed. So, from if I use two wood to convert to one point, one point, do I keep that wood for yeah. next time? Yeah, yeah, I think I might do that. Okay, so, so it goes back in the general store. Back in the uh, yeah, you get a point, and then uh, this card goes back. That, yeah, D ditch all your resource cards back here. Okay, um, so I will use my mason to turn these two stone into two points. There you go, you've all got four points. Um, and then I can't use, I haven't got enough of that one, or wood. Okay, so then these two go back. They go back. You. Thank you. I put that there. Okay. I give that to you. Brilliant. That's it. Smashing. I'm surprised you haven't painted the cathedral, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> So we grab our workers back, yeah? You know what's going to happen now. I'll be up all night. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew when I said it. Um, so can I use my card um, here Absolutely. that says you may look at the next yep. event card at the start of each yep. round? So have a look at it. Now, the good ones have got a red seal on them. I mean, it should be obvious from the text whether it's good or bad. This was a bad one because it didn't have a red okay. seal. So if you want to have a look. And just I yeah, just you. If it's got a red seal on it, that tells you that it's good. Shall I pass your workers over for you? So there you go there. And then I put it back on top. And you put it back on top. And then we try and bribe you to tell us. Feeling lucky? Or? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know if it's really bad when Gemma goes there. When first. she goes there. <laughs> first action. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> that's when you know it's bad. Okay. Right, so that's that done. That's that done. We reveal the top two cards okay. here. So Jack persuades the girls. You, make an, you can have six craftsmen instead of five. Okay. Or the crying Madonna is brought to Kingsbridge. You get three victory points. Lightning bolt is an immediate one-off effect. Okay. Okay. That wasn't taken. So one effect gets removed from the game. Yeah. Um, I think you keep it just for flavour. All right. It doesn't matter. Would you mind shuffling that? There should be nine, and then deal seven of them at random. Uh, yes, I've got the expansion as well. How many does the game play? So yeah, plays two to four. The optimal number is three. Okay. With four. There isn't really enough spaces for all of the master builders with four. Hmm. 
then the expansion takes it up to six. Okay. But the optimum number is five. But does it have a different board? It's an extra board. Right. Okay. With some extra spaces. Is it seven? Sorry. Then. Seven. So Would you say it's unusual, Paul, uh, Paul, sorry, to have a worker placement game where you don't cover up spots depending on the number of players you've got? Uh, no. No, well, it depends. Depends on the game. Okay. Because the one that you played last night mm. needs that. Yeah. But in this game, you can't really remove any of the spaces. Right, okay. They're all kind of needed. Yeah. Right, so I've given these a shuffle. And what have we got? We have the potter and the carpenter, which means the other two go there. Okay. Remember, if you buy them from here, you pay cash. If you take them from here, they're free. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done the cards, we've done that, we've done that. I haven't taken the workers back. So how do you get the effect on the architect here? So you've just got just one point. point every round? Yeah, in step 13, every mm -hmm. round you get a point. Right, okay. Okay. Jeremy, you'll start player. Okay. What do I need to do? Taking a card. Oh, okay. Um, the game can be a little bit evil if you wanted. <laughs> right, okay. It could. Yeah. So I'm letting you know now, if only one of the stone cards came out, mm -hmm. and we know that you've got the mason. Okay. I understand. You might want to take the mason to stop it. Yeah, okay, so there's a little bit of that in yeah. the game if you want to. Like take. Nick last round taking the only additional card I could have taken. Which because, one was that? Uh, the one for three workers, and I only had three workers left. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realise. Yeah. Mm. I'm not much. Noted. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, uh, I'm going to take um, this one for three workers, yeah, so and I'll pop three it down. down in the forest. There. And we know that that event, mm -hmm. which has caused everything to be reduced by one, has gone now. Okay. There isn't another one of those in there. Um, Gareth is saying he's purchased this recently. Cool. Ah, so now showing is saying that uh, there is a BGG forum that suggests that there are some spaces you can cover up for two players. Yeah, you can definitely cover that one up. Yeah. What, I think what you could do is you could say, we're not going to cover either of the spots, but only one of them can be taken. Yeah, and you can mm. choose which card you take. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. That would work. Uh, I'm going to spend eight to buy some stone. Eight for some more stone. I'll take this card here, please. Yes. Okay, so let's start having a look. I'm going to spend three to buy this carpenter. So that puts me at my five. I mean, you can always go to the market to buy whatever you need, but mm. that's it's yeah. one of your mm. master builders. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm going to buy uh, this mm -hmm. card for two workers. Two workers down in the gravel pit. Okay. So I can afford to buy some more stone. Uh, no, that's, that's not stone, that's gravel, isn't that's it? That's gravel. Or sand. Sand, whatever okay. it is, yeah. Um, um, Cosmos have disappeared. Thank you for joining in. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take the money for these four. Okay, right. Interested. Um, so I've got that, which means I'm going to take that. Yes, yeah, so all the wood's gone. <laughs> can I? Does it? Sorry, can I start? Does it come round to me? And can no. I buy a card if no. I want to? So now that I've passed. Now that you've passed, do you want to change your mind on that? Mm, and how many of these cards can I have? Up to five. five. Can I actually? Yeah. Uh, can I spend five You're buy please, the and I'll buy the potter? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Deep inhalation of breath, death. So. Oh. I kind of don't <laughs> so... want to pass. You can't get more than 30 gold, by the way. Okay. Passing seems wrong when I've got all of these workers. Um, but I've got four resources. I'm going to be spending those two. Mm hmm. If I gain any more than three, I'm not going to use them. So, what's coming up next round? Oh, that one. So I'm going to put three in there. Uh, sorry, four in there. Let's take this card. Okay. Oops. We're all on four. Put them there for now. 
Um, I'm going to uh, pay five to buy yep. this one here. So five in the middle. Glory. And I will end pass all the way. Okay. I've still got ten workers. <laughs> I'm... Oh. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go make some wool. I don't know how you signify that those grey ones are mine, but they're mine. Okay, I'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then yeah. I'll pass as well. Okay, right. Okay, Master Builder Bag. Just check that there's two of each in there. Yep. Okay, don't forget your once per game ability. It's up to you. Or you could put it back. It's currently seven to place. Mm. Is there a space you really want to go for seven? So money is not worth anything at the end of the game, but there are a couple of craftsmen in rounds five and six that allow you to convert money into points. Okay. okay. And what's the other way to get money other than here? Oh, to sell at the market? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I will. Okay, spend you can spend seven. seven. And um, I'm going to go here. Okay. Blue. So do you want to put Paul back in the bag or do you want to... Sorry? Back in the bag or... So you can either, yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so etiquette, what I do is I, I do exactly what you've done. Mm -hmm. So it's your option. I, I don't say anything. <laughs> I wait for you to make the decision of whether I'm going back in the bag or not. And when you give me the piece, okay. that means I get a choice. Right. Um, is anything worth six? Three points is three points. <laughs> my, I don't think it's worth six. My worry is that I don't now get picked out for quite a while. Where's your three points from? Just taking that. Oh, okay. It's just a straight three points. Yeah. Um. So I'm, I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to pass. Okay. Come on, blue. Yellow. I'm going to put it back in the bag. Okay, Thanks. so that's your once per round ability used. Oh. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to pass anyway, please. Okay. So if you can put me on there. So that goes on the five. And again. Uh, Do you want to pay four? Um, what do these ones do here again? This is three victory points. Yeah. This is you can have six craftsmen instead of five. I'm going to pay four mm -hmm. um, and go here. Oh, okay. Yellow. Um, You're down to three. I'm going to pass again, please. You're passing on three. And then blue. So I am totally, for two money, getting three points. Uh, so I was the second to put on the board. Mm -hmm. Right. So now we do this in this order. So I place for three. Oh. I think I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's there what I go. was going to do. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's all you. Um, I will take one point here. Um, what does that card say? You can have five instead of six. Six instead of five. Six instead of five. So worth it do you think i'm trying to think at this stage you're probably thinking no mm. once we get a couple more rounds in and you're starting to think oh actually i, I need that one for that and i need that one for that yeah so it, yeah um yeah okay i'll go there and then i will i'll take two more workers next round well, so. I'm gonna go there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go on the architect. Okay. Right. So the event. Would you like to reveal the event? Let's see what it is. Oh. Is it that one? No, it wasn't that one. Oh goodness me! <laughs> What's happening here? Parts of the cathedral collapse. 
All players lose one craftsman. Okay. Would you like protecting from that? Yes, please. Okay. So you don't lose a craftsman. Um, well, I'm going to lose the... You've got a mason already. You're going to be taking a mason. So I don't think I want a mason. So I'm going to lose the mortar mixer. Okay. Um, so spoilers, at some point in the book, the cathedral collapses and people die. All oh, right. I've, okay. I've ruined it for you. Now. Thanks very much. <laughs> um, I think I want to get rid of the potter. You just bought that. I know, I'm really upset. <laughs> You need all the other ones? What, all these? Yeah. What, what do you lose? No victory points for masons. Yeah, you need to keep your mortar mixer. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the absolute most. No stone sales in the resource Your stone cutter and your woodworker, are, I mean, are you going to be selling stone? I doubt it. No. So I can get rid of that one because that's a better card, yeah. isn't it? Okay, I'll get rid of my stone yeah. cutter then. Thank you. Okay, right, so that's the event done. Uh, money. So I get five, six, seven, eight. I get ten. Uh, yellow gets four, red gets two. Okay. okay. I get this card. <laughs> I get this one. I get three points immediately. Two, three. I'll just put it there off camera. Um, then I get another two points, and yellow gets one. And then. I get one wood, please. You get one wood. Um, two wood, please. Two wood. Uh, quarry. Um, it's quarryness. Add two for me, two please. Stone. Um, and I get three, please. Three stone. And then in here, I get three. And you get... Add two. Is it two? So here I get a metal. And I roll the die of taxes again. It's a four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you get down to one money, um, can you... Or zero, you lose Does points. It okay. Yeah, so for every two you can't pay, you lose a point. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's rounded in your favour. Okay. Yeah. So, in fact, the resource cards can go back now. Okay. Because we've, we've done them, we've got the resources. Um, there you go. Have some more craftsmen. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Stop. Oh, sorry. We don't do that yet. Not yet. Do we? I take my two workers. You get your two workers. Uh, nobody went to the market. So, Step 13. Is there any particular way that they go? Uh, that's 14. <laughs> <laughs> 13 <laughs> first. Converting. Yes. Yes. Oh, and the yeah. Sorry. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to convert um, two pieces of stone for two victory points. Uh, using the mason? Using the mason. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's two points. One for the architect for free. And. Um, you going to keep the rest? I think I'll keep the rest for yeah. now. Okay. Um, so I will convert these two pieces of stone for two points with my mason. Uh, I will convert these two pieces of wood for one point. Yep. Uh, and that's all I can do. I will use my toolmaker to get two money. Do you have to spend a piece of metal to do that? Or does no. that dream that? No, you just take it. Where's, where's the card that I planned to take? Oh, it's there. It's next round. <laughs> Oops. So it, it, with that tool maker, it's if you have a piece of metal. If you have a piece of metal, oh. you get two. Yeah. Oh, okay. He uses his metal to make tools. Oh. Right, so I've messed this up completely. Uh, oh, no, I haven't. No, it's carpenter. That's it. So those two into there yeah. with the carpenter. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. I've got... Yeah. Messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> Can I do anything with it? No. Because I lost the wrong one. Never mind. Mistake. So I'm going to discard that at the end of the round. Okay. Now you can build the cathedral. Does it go like that? Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Which piece would you like next? Um, I like this one here, please. Okay. Right, round three. So we take all our workers away. So yeah. these all come off. I'll take those off. Uh, you need the bag. If you want to put them in the bag. Yeah. Take these back. So yellow, red. Uh, 
Okay. Do you want to do the resources again? I'll reveal these. You've not talked about the black worker yet, Paul. We haven't. No, there is one card, an event card, that oh, will I cause see. it to come into play. Okay. Paul here. And don't forget to look at the top event card. Not you. No, I'm passing to him. <laughs> 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 no sneaking a peek. Right. Uh, Richard, the leader of the Outlords, takes over. Uh, you get one sand per round. Okay. Brother Francis, tax exemption. Your tax is two gold permanently. So when you do not go here, mm -hmm. your tax is fixed at two gold. Okay. Uh, Uwe's got to disappear. Build the cathedral, yes. Um, you can save resources with your craftsman. You can save five plus one for every craftsman you have. What's that? Is that when you chucked away your resource? Uh, I, thought, I thought it was just five. You may not carry over more than five resources this round. Yep, yeah, I'm not sure what you mean now, showing. You can say for maybe it's expansion stuff. Yeah, maybe I've missed something. Right, we've reset that. We've reset that. Mm -hmm. We've done that. You know what the next event is. We're good to go. Okay. Oh no, we need these cards. That's it. So round three cards. Let's give them a shuffle. What's come out? Ooh. So all three of the stone ones have come out. Yeah. Right. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. Um, what can I not sell? Stone. You cannot sell stone at the market. Okay. Um, I will put one, two, three, four over here. I'll take this card here. Okay. I'm going to send three people to the forest to take that card. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to send eight people to the stone mm -hmm. for this card. Oh. oh, no, that's ten people. Ten people, sorry. Ten people to ten the people. God, it's expensive. Um, I will... Oh, what do I want to do? Um, I will spend... What are the other cards? Carpenter. Okay. Sculptor's pretty good. Sculptor. One stone for two points, but only once per round. Yeah. Um, I will please take some wood. What do I want the word? I can't decide. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm getting stuck. Um... Yeah, I'll take the word. I'll take this card here. Um, right. Well, I will send two to the gravel pit. Let's get this. Okay. Um, I want to spend five money for the carpenter. Mm -hmm. So you have to lose one. I have of your... to lose one of these. Yeah. So I was going to lose um, the woodworker. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. I even yeah. It just means you can't buy wood from the market now. Okay. okay. Uh, I will pass and I will put four workers over here. I will pass and put seven workers there. I'll pass and put two. Okay. Right. Bag time. Bag time. How are you doing? Lucky? Not lucky. Blue. Paul, that's you. Oh, you're going back. I'm really sorry. There you go. Come on. Here we go. So yeah, so my rules, so I, yeah, I've got the German version, but in the English rules that I've got, it just says you may not carry over five, more than five resources to the next round. That's it. It's not based on how many workers you've got. Uh, it's me. It is you. And I will spend seven. Putting you down to one money. Yeah, and I will go here. 
You mean the space that I wanted? Yeah. Okay. That's so why. Just... I, that's why I put you back in the bag. Yeah. Because <laughs> that is a nice card. Um, Blue, Paul, what do you want to do? Is crying in action? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a use now at all for my sand, apart from to go to the market, no. sell it. Uh, yeah, you're going to give that to me. So, what are we going to do? Don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. <clears throat> I don't want that. So, no. Nope. Pass. Okay. Down to five. Pull again. Where did the sculptor go? There. Nobody bought it. Okay. Should have bought it. Nope. Okay, down to four. Gemma. Um, I don't have four money, so... That's a quick one. Then next is three. me. Uh, I will pass, yeah. please. Down to two. And then Gemma again. And she passes. Okay, right. So that's the bag empty. So it's now three. So it's me first. Mm -hmm. So what about those two yeah, over so there? Do they go on or not? They, they will go on. At the moment, Nick is the only one that's placed on the board. Mm. So that's why that's there. As soon as there I put go. this on the board, I there will now go. be next. Now it's which... Which one do we want? I think... I'm going to take the two points and then it's me again what do these two do this time so this is one sand per round and this is your taxes are affixed to gold if you don't go here because if you go here it's free is there a zero on the tax dice no it's an average dice i should okay. have mentioned that so one through six okay uh, no average no. dice average dice two three three four four five all right. Reduces the randomness by okay. massive amounts. Uh, and that's not a house rule. Oh, that's okay. Just that, that's what the dice comes with. It's one reason I love the game because <laughs> a lot of the games I think are made better yeah. by replacing the normal dice with an average dice. It okay. really reduces the look. Right. Um, I can't take the mason because he's useless without a mortar mixer. That's just money. I could go there to deny it to somebody else, which seems. Harsh, but fair. So it's red, then yellow, mm -hmm. then red, and then red. I'm going to take two workers. Mm -hmm. um, I will so be the first person to go yeah. to the market. So you get to place your two. Um, then it's me. Can I take... Uh, one point there. one seek punter and no taxes no taxes right okay so i'm going to go to the market as well um do i want to fix my taxes i'm trying to decide i mean Gemma's obviously not got hit got not gone there i i would take a resource there that i could subsequently then sell couldn't yeah. i but you can't sell your stone no so okay. right, that to you if you take a resource and then sell it is worth three gold whereas that yeah there's only a one in six chance it's worth less than three gold so you're probably better going there if you're just worried about money yeah i'll go there then please Paul. off we go then okay the reveal event. the event do you like to read it as your your head of events <laughs> <laughs> the archbishop donates a statue of the madonna to the cathedral very nice of it each player may increase the capacity of one of their craftsmen by one cannot be used on the bell caster or organ maker so does that mean yeah for example yeah you this increase one, the multiplier yeah that's awesome for the sculptor brilliant oh okay it's, it's, oh. it's gone the sculptor yeah 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 all oh, right okay it's awesome on a card which only has like one use because yeah. i'm hoping it's going to be good for my potter as well in a moment so i can do that four times i should have taken the three <laughs> why <laughs> yeah no that's actually useless to me but okay Okay. So it's that one. So when money. we come to step 13, yeah. you can each increase one of your workers by one. Okay, money. Four for me, please. Four for yellow. Two. And then we've got seven for blue. 
And we've got two for red. Actually, let's leave those on so we know who's okay. done what. Nobody took any of these cards. Yeah. Nobody wants you, Brother Francis. Points. It's going to be a winning strategy. Is that you get <laughs> points for the priory? Um, I get one wood because of my card, you do. please. Thank you. I get two. Which should I go for three now? And you get three. Um, no, no. Oh, no, you get you get three. Oh yeah, thanks. Quarry. Four for you, Four. I believe. And then gravel pit. I get two sand. Uh, three for me. Three sand. Thanks very much. Okay, I get another metal. <laughs> okay, yeah, I've miscalculated this completely. And nobody pays any taxes, so we don't need to roll the dice. Can we roll it anyway? Yeah. See what what I would have won. Jim. Oh, I would have won. <laughs> right. Uh, you get that. Magic. Thank and you. presumably have to lose somebody. No, because I can have oh, six you've cards instead yeah, of five. Yeah, yeah. I get these You get those two workers. And then mark it. Sorry, I just need to work out what I've got. Um... Oh, discussion about an average dice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I remember back in the back in the eighties playing Railway Rivals, if you remember Railway Rivals, um there was a suggest that is where I first came across the average dice. Railway Rivals are really nice route building game but then at the end once you built your route you basically roll a dice to move your train mm -hmm. and it was a normal dice and it was just you know players could roll ones and other players could roll sixes mm -hmm. yeah and then this was a suggestion is that you play if they play that game with an average dice mm -hmm. and it reduces the luck factor i think it was by something like 70 percent or something crazy yeah and that's the first time i came across an average dice okay and now so many games i've played yeah i think oh that would be better with an average dice <laughs> and this this is the perfect one because the swinginess between the one and the six is yeah, just a bit too, too much mm. whereas two to five with a bell curve in the middle is mm. yeah yeah i'm with you i can buy and sell simultaneously can't i um i believe you do one transaction okay which is either buy or sell but it's going to come back to you and it'll keep coming back to you you can have as many turns as you want okay. you then me then you then me okay so what will this this sand it'll cost me two every time does yes it? but you can buy as many as you want okay so you could if you wanted to buy all four sand right now right okay and then i wouldn't have any okay so i can use four on that card and i can use three on that one yeah so can i please buy two stone for four so i will take two sand stone. yeah yeah i'm sorry two sand for four you can yeah right so now me so i'm going to increase that so i'm definitely buying one wood it's whether i want to buy any more wood because i'm probably going to sell some of this metal and that's worth five each and i've already got loads of money i'm probably gonna have to sell that as well and i'm probably gonna have to buy that ouch so yeah i'm gonna buy three wood for nine 36 to 17. Okay, back to you. Uh, I'm going to sell all my wood, please. So I get what, 12? twelve for that. And where do these go? Back to back here. Back to the supply. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me just put these on here. Uh, I don't want to sell all three metal. <laughs> That's insane. Can you sell metal? Yeah, you can sell metal for five, but you can't buy it. Okay. So I'm. Uh, where am I? Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to sell one sand for two. No, I'll make it two sand for four. Yeah. Okay. That's you. Us. Okay, so you can just move that aside. Yeah. And then back to me, I will sell <laughs> one metal for five. Okay. Okay. Now we all use our craftsman. Okay. Wasn't there something that you had to use, Gemma, at this point in this game? Or did I dream that? Um, no, I don't think so. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. So um, I'm going to increase this one by one, so four, yeah. for four points. We'll do Nick's first, oh, just because okay. you're a star player. Thanks very much. Oh. Um, okay, so I've got <laughs> this one here, so I'll go 
This one four times, so four, four points. points for that one. One, two, three, four. Yep. One point for that one. Oh, no. Sorry, two points, actually. Two, yep. Um, and three for that one there. Nice. No, you can only increase it by one, one by one. What are you talking about? Yeah, you can only increase, you can only one, increase of one, one, one of them by one. Oh, I thought you could increase them all by no, one. No, no, no. One oh. of them by one. Do we want to take all those? Where was I before? Can you remember? You just do that. Just take one off. There you go. I've done it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, fine. Okay. Okay, so then they all go back. So I've got three points for this carpenter. One, two, three. And one point for this woodworker. And I get two money for the tool maker. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this one Architect. gets one. Yep. This is four. Because I've increased four. the three by one. Yep. And then this one's three. One, two, three. Come on. Pretty close. It's close, isn't it? Right. Right. And if you would like to build your piece of the cathedral. Yeah, I'm thinking it looks like it goes there, but I could be wrong. Is it there? It goes there. Oh. Oh, that doesn't make sense. There you go. Okay, so cards go back. Don't, don't you laugh at me. I thought you put yours. <laughs> um, let's grab these back. The bag. Yeah. There's okay. those uh, shall I uh, shuffle these Yeah, again? if you want to do that, I'll reveal the next two of these. So we have Tom Builder supervises the quarries. I thought that said squirrel. My eyesight is definitely getting worse. Supervises the squirrel. You get one stone per round. Um, and Archbishop Thomas's protecting hand is over you. Right. After the event is revealed, you may receive protection from it. So this is another icon. This is one times. Mm -hmm. This means once per game, if you have this card, you may use the power of the card mm -hmm. to protect you from one of the events. And do we uh, refill the We do supplies. refill the market. There you go. Right, so bang. Two blue, two red, two yellow. And let's get the round four cards. Cards are starting to get juicy now. Uh, to anyone who likes this, I'd recommend checking out the sequels. So I have World Without End, mm -hmm. which is the it's the second book in the series, okay. and it's the second game in the series. It's not as good as this. It's okay. a good game. The One of the best things about the game it isn't just this game with a few different things. It's a completely different game. Okay. Um, then there is a third one, Column of Fire, which I haven't read the book, mm. and I haven't, I haven't got the game. <laughs> okay. So, uh, as now showing says, diminishing returns. The games mm. aren't as good as it goes on. This oh, is this is by far the best one. Okay. But World Without End is is a pretty good game. Okay. It's quite a big title as well, isn't it? World Without End. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds ominous. Uh, right. So let's have those two there and these two here. Oh, and I can read the. You can have a look at the events. Let's put your face. <laughs> yeah. Good. Poker face, poker face. Uh, and it's me first, isn't it? Yeah, what's this? Oh. There we go. Right, so. Oh, I didn't spend these resources. I put them on the cards and forgot to spend them. So. So, Paul, you're the start player, aren't you? I am and the start player. I have lots of money because there's a particular card that I wanted to buy. think I'm probably going to have to buy it. So yeah, I'm going to spend eight money. No, 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 because you can't buy it. What's well, this? The, the glass blower. Why so can't I'm, I buy Because it? you haven't got eight money. I do. Oh no, you do. Gemma, Gemma doesn't. Does. Oh, I'm going to have to buy it then, because you might. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and that puts me on to my five again. Yeah, okay. Uh, Tom's bet on the winner. Kath Edrell. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to... Yeah, interestingly, so although it's a fictional setting for this game, yeah. it's Kingsbridge. Right, okay. Now... Do you know there's a Kingsbridge in Devon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I go there for work. <laughs> so, oh, right, okay. <laughs> we, years and years ago, we were yeah. driving around Devon just yeah. on a day trip, yeah, and yeah. we drove past Kingsbridge, oh. and we went, <laughs> Hello. What? <laughs> I'm going to spend six workers to pick yep. up the uh, wood. Okay. Yeah, there's also in Devon Blackpool Sands, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm from Blackpool Up in North, North Devon, is that? Uh, South, no, Devon. South Devon. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. okay. Again, we were just driving past, and we saw this sign saying Blackpool Sands. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> 
Um, okay, I want to spend um, seven workers, and uh, I want mm -hmm. the yeah that one please. Well, I don't really have a choice. I don't really want the four wood, but if I don't take that, I'll have none. So, one, two, three, nine, nine workers for the forest. I'll send five workers for two um, iron, is that? Stone. Stone, Stone sorry. I'm trying to think what's left. Three, that's five. What are those cards there? One stone for one. The mason that you already made me chuck away, Gemma, didn't you? Early on in the game? I didn't make you chuck away, did yes, you? Did. This is a better mason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> then the carpenter's one wood for one. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I'll go. I'll take some more of this. That one there. So some more gravel. Uh, Eric has said uh, he's got the next two, but hasn't played them. But they are some of the most beautiful game boards. So do, you, really? do you want to hear a, um, <laughs> a little bit of an admission? Go on then. As to how shallow I am. Okay. I bought this game because of the game board. Oh, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I was in Essen when this game came out. I saw it on a table. I went, "That looks amazing," and oh. I bought it. Or without um, even like without, looking at it. Well, yeah. or... I mean, I looked at it and I thought this looks like a Euro game I'd enjoy. Okay. But because the board artwork was amazing, yeah. I didn't know anything about the book. I didn't know anything about anything. Yeah. I bought it purely on the artwork. Yeah. And take... it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just walk up to him and said, Here you go, just take my money. Yeah, take my money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's me, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Yeah, it seems that yeah I'm sure that, that strategy of buying games that look pretty doesn't always work, but <laughs> <laughs> in this case, in this case, it did. Um, right, bank time. Let's get rid of that. Now then. Let's just check that there's two of each in there. Yep. Okay. So that's me, isn't it? Might um, be. Oh, I see, okay. Might be. Is there anywhere that you can go that will mess up what I've got planned. <laughs> and if there is, would you pay seven to do it? I did pay seven last round. I know. I? So... But, no, there you go. Okay, thanks very much. Um, i trying to remember what these cards do. You get one stone. This is a stone every round. And um, this is that once in the game, you can be protected from the event. Mm, okay. Uh, I will pass, please. Okay, so down to six. Well, I'm going to give it to you, and then you pass. You don't have any money. You don't have enough money. Oh dear. It's not going well. <laughs> First opportunity, Paul, what are you going to do? Five's not bad. I do have the money for five. Quite a lot of money, 20. Mm. I kind of don't want to be first because if I'm first, I'm also last. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, there's a dilemma here because Paul's clearly got an eye on something. I do. I think I know what it is. I'm not going to say. I'll tell you later. I have my eye on the carpenter okay. because I'm getting four wood this turn. Mm -hmm. My current carpenter only converts two. Mm -hmm. If I bought that, yeah. I could convert four. Yeah. But I'm thinking that's a bit of a waste. Mm. So I think I am going to spend the five. Okay. And I'm going to go here. Okay. I haven't used my ability yet, have I? No. Which one was that? My putting something oh, back on the bike. No. You again? Yeah, I'm going to use it now. Put it back in the bag. Red. Uh, I... That costs what? Three? Yeah, no, yeah. I'm going to pass. No, it was four. Oh, okay. Now it's three. 
So what will this cost me three? It'll cost you three. To do anything I want. <clears throat> yep. To go crazy. Um, yeah, I, this table map. This is the scythe-inspired table map. I was thinking, but yeah. But I thought, oh, yeah, this'll, this'll do. And it actually does work. <laughs> it sort of works. The thing is as well, Tom, is you can't see all of it, and it's really got something for all moods in every corner. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I will play my three... Yeah, you can't three. see the, the industrial mix yes, we've got, there in the corner. <laughs> we've got winter, we've got summer down there. I mean, that looks lovely, but um, I will pay three, okay. and I also knew you wanted to take the car. Okay. So I will take that. Uh, so we're down to two. Do I then come onto the board? Yeah, here? you go there. Yeah. So do I want to pay two? I do. And I'm actually going to go there. Right. So now we're down to... Nothing's left in the bag, so it's it's now free. So it's yellow, mm -hmm. and then it'll be red, 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 and then yeah, so it's yellow okay. first. Um, I will go on the metal marker over there. Yeah. Principle. Okay. So then you get to go, then you get to go again, and then you get to go again. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna. But it's all free. Two work. You really like the extra work, do not you? Sorry. Um, which one? So one stone, one stone per round, so and I'm you can avoid round. a bad event. So oh, it's obviously okay. not well. Okay. It's not yeah, it's not that me. well. I suppose that would be good to combine with yours because you see it, mm. and then you yeah yeah, and then you can use one of your other workers somewhere else if you've got something you're planning ahead to do. And how many goods and bad um, events there, are there? So there were five of each yeah. in the game. We shuffled them and took out four. Okay. So there could be one good and five bad. Or five <laughs> good and four, yeah, five good and one bad. Um, um, okay, I'm going to. And again, once you know the game, mm. you know what the sort. You kind of know what things are happening, but yeah, I don't remember them, so I'm not getting any advantage from that because it's been so long since I played. Yeah, I think one of them is all players lose two points. I think okay. I might be wrong on that because mm. what's the point of that? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is that all three of yours? That's all three of mine, thank you. What have you gone for? You've gone for two extra workers, avoid your taxes and... And the mason card, um, okay. which I'm going to swap out this mason. Okay. So then it's me next, isn't it? Is you next? I'm trying to think what I want to do. Oh, there is a point. If, if there was a card that says all players lose two points, mm. there is a point to that because... Yeah, you go there. Somebody could go there and protect themselves. Yeah. Um, I don't think these two cards are great. I'm not going to really have enough resources to sell much at the market, I don't think. So what else? Get the jump on the start player if there was one of these cards that you really wanted. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I see. But then it could go there anyway, and I, I would be lucked out, and I'd be then waiting for the draw of the bag, wouldn't I? Um, I will go to the market. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a similar position. Mm. That I don't think that's bad. Yeah. I don't think he's that bad because otherwise Gemma would have got yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> it must be a good one. So be. I think it's good. Mm. So do I want to go here to get a resource which I don't? So I think I'm going to go there. Okay. Which might be a complete waste, mm. but there's nowhere else really that I want to go. No. And in this round as well, we seem to have gone you one, and then it was I mean, then Gemma three. Yeah. Then me two, and then you at the end. So mm -hmm. you've really had not much choice to pick what you want. Well, the first two. Oh well, I'm, I'm you, trying to capitalise on. You're mad for the three that. points. <laughs> That's where I'm getting most of my points from, mm. <laughs> from at the moment, and it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that um, resolve the areas. Have we go? Okay, yeah. Do you want to read it? Out? You got it. Prior Philip opens the cloister goods. Up to five workers in the woollen mill receive double wages. Okay, and we've all got three. Okay, so so we all get double. We, we all get each. double. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. Thanks, Jenna. That's okay. And that is now. So we all get six. Uh, that one goes off there. <laughs> okay. And then I get this. And, and then I get three points. points. One, two, three. And then resources. So I get four wood. I have three. Three wood. And one for and my card, one. please. Thank you very much. Quarry, you get four stone. And then you get. Um, I got six, please. Six. Lots of sand. Thank you very much. Sorry, I get two stone. Two stone? Two stone. Okay, I'll give it a four. I thought that was a five. Uh, right. Let's roll the taxes dice, which only affects me. <laughs> so I'm 
So I pay four, and you yeah. get a metal. Thank you very much. Uh, right, so you get that mason, you get that carpenter. Thank you very much. So I've got five, so yeah, I'm so you have to getting lose rid one. of that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Which is the same card, just I can do this one five times. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then you get those two, and then mark it. Um, do okay, whatever you want. Can I just work out what I'm doing yeah, here? Yeah, absolutely. So that, that will be Stick, three there. Stick the things on the card. Uh, one there. Matt's in the chat. John's in the chat. Hi both. Thanks for joining in. John's been watching a ZZ Top documentary. Oh right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's, thanks for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to know. Um, I will sell that one for five, please. Five money for yellow. Yep. Um, so that one goes back down to there. Um, and then I'll buy a um, another piece of sand for two. For two, yep. And that's all I'll do. Okay. Do you want to buy anything in preparation for what you might need next round? Next round. Just while you're here? I suppose I've got quite a lot of money, haven't I? Mm -hmm. um, Look at those cards. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I will... I can't buy stone, can I? I see what I will do. I'll buy. No, you can. Can I? You can't sell stone. Oh, okay. Sand, stone's really expensive, isn't it? It's four, yeah. a, four a go. Yeah. Um, I'll just buy two more of these, please. Okay. Right. So. Actually, no. Sorry, I'm I'm being a real fool. And I will also buy sorry one more piece of wood for three. Okay. Sorry about that. That's all right. Okay, so I'm going to use this carpenter twice for two points and then I'm going to use the glass blower for three points and that's it uh, so I get one point for my architect one point for your architect I'm going to use um, this one twice so two twice. points yep. and this one three times uh, one, for two, three, three points yep sure. okay and yeah. Nick. Uh, I rather misread a card, but I'll take three points for my potter, One, please. Two, three. Um, two points for my carpenter. One, two. Uh, two points for my potter. One, two. Um, and I will take three. Uh, sorry, one point One for point. my mortar mixer. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to put this here. Cool. You got the start player for round five. Those two cards. Yes. Go back to there, go back to there. Um, this one go goes. Nobody wanted that one. And I'll flip these two. There is the bag of power. So we've got two rounds left, yeah? Two rounds left. Do you want to read those to us, Paul? That's we okay. have uh, your mathematics studies in Toledo pay off. You immediately receive two metal. And Otto Blackface follows your construction crew. You receive the black worker that you may use from now on every round. Right, okay. Which is. Not so good when it turns up in round five. <laughs> <laughs> Even worse when it turns up in round... Oh, no, it can't turn up in round six because the last two cards are fixed. So. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. But these cards are variable, so you'd have... Would you ever have a game where these cards change? Or um, will you always have him come out one no, point? No, no, no. There are 14 cards in the game and you choose 10 of them. Oh, OK. And then the expansion adds even more in it. Does it? So, yeah, more variability in that. Has this got the expansion here? This is not. No, no, we're okay. just playing the base game today. But I, yeah. will, I will show you the expansion when we've finished. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm going to look at this one yeah. before we get going. We do have a question about house rules, I thought I read, but I can't see enough. Uh, Luke's here. He's going to get it out next Wednesday at the club because he misses it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a close game. Yeah, it is. It is close. I mean, I've been racking up the points. You've been here. really well. Well, your craftsmen have been really good. I've Sorry. only been getting like, oh, I forgot to get me too many. Oh. I've only been getting a few points from craftsmen. Mm. That's been my, my weak area. Okay, there you go. So, Super Sculptor, Goldsmith is the first card that converts gold into points. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready. And Jimmy will start playing, aren't you? Not this bit yet, though. Not that bit yet. Oh. Cards we're first. We're placing our people onto here. Oh. So what's come out? <laughs> You're too keen, aren't it's you? It's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Been a long week. Mm. 
Yeah, in the expansion in English, you'd have an easier time bending the laws of time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It, it was going for crazy money. Really? I, I, I got it when it came out. Yeah. I got the English expansion, and then the mm. price just absolutely really? rocketed up. Yeah. Because usually it tends to be the opposite, doesn't it? You find a game you really want, you buy it, pay a lot of money for it, oh, and, and then, then and then they reprint it, and it's like, well, I paid yeah. like three times what it's selling for new. I'm going to spend eight to get the three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then it's me. I will spend seven to get four bits of sand or gravel. Yeah. Whatever that one is, I forget. I don't know what I want now. Okay. Yeah, this works. Yeah. Spend eight. By the sculptor. Okay. Who's gonna go? Um it's going to be the stone cutter, because I'm not gonna be selling stone. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use my last six workers for this one. The forest. Um, one, two, three, four. I've got five workers left. And this one here, I've got two on that one already. And I've got, so I'll have one too many. Yeah, it's a good idea actually putting the cubes on them. Yeah. So you know what you're doing. It would almost be helpful if we resolve these meeples so you know what resources you've got before we put them down. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if there's an order to it, but I sort of find myself staring, wondering what's going to go where. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. But um, I don't think there's anything there that I either really want or can afford. So I think I will go over here for five in a minute. So I was counting to see how many workers you had because I need that. Ten, that's an expensive yeah. one. Is that the most we've paid all game for? Yeah. Uh, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, ten is the big one. Okay. No workers left. I've already passed. Do I need two gravel? I do not need two gravel. Do I need two more money? Probably. Okay, right. Now I do. Bank that. time. <laughs> oh, should we have refilled these? We should have yes, done. Yes, we should we? have done. Yeah, now. <laughs> so, blue first, Paul. Uh, you, actually, you get to decide if you want to make Paul play. Mm -hmm. So seven you can pay to go anywhere. Am I desperate for anything? No. Okay, down to six. I wasn't seven desperate for anything, am I six desperate <laughs> for anything? Because <clears throat> if I don't do this, mm -hmm. this is my last builder in the back. Yeah. The other four are going to come out before I have a choice. And if I'm not careful, I'm just going to, mm -hmm. I'm going to lose out on these. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, five. I'm going to put back in down. Okay, so that's your ability used. <coughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. time. Um, so how much money is it? It's for? five. Five. Short on money, you need a fancy wristwatch. What? I don't know, I don't get that. <laughs> no, 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 I do. It's a Lost Ruins of Arnak reference. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And actually, we've changed that card, Luke. It's just called a watch now. <laughs> because the artwork... It wasn't. Mm. It wasn't actually a wristwatch. It was a, a watch. All oh, right. Okay. So we spotted it at the end, and somebody went, uh, "That's not actually a wristwatch." <laughs> um, I am going to spend five. You're going to spend five. To take two points. Interesting move. Yeah. So Gemma goes so, on board yeah, then. You yeah. Oh, but I don't have enough money, so. So that goes on the four. Brilliant. So it's. Uh, so there's two yellows in there. Two yeah. Blue. Thanks very much. So, so I've got three it's, and it's a two. Three and then two. 
Okay, so either way here, I'm going to be in the middle, am I? And then you'll be... Well, how will that all go? I'm just if, trying to think. If you pass here and here, yeah, then I, I will be there and you'll be there. So I could pass and pass, and I can t take three in a row for free. Can't yeah, I? Yeah, but it'd be after these. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's bag first, yeah. then the wheel, I then this. Okay. Uh, okay, so that will cost me three. Um, I will. I'll pass one, please. On the three. On the three. And then two. And then two, I'll go for the Spending metal. Spending two, so that goes there. On the metal one, if you look yep. for Okay, so we go to the wheel. So it's me first. So this is free, then this is free. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did that. Sorry. Good move. Thanks. <laughs> well, just based on the things that are coming up next round. Although there is that little fella. What, this one here? The black people? No, no, no. This one. Okay. Toledo Steel. So I go there for free, then I go there for free. Okay. I see what you're going. I see where you're going. Okay. Then it's red. Then it's yellow. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go... Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so what does this card allow you to do? You immediately receive two metal. Oh, you just metal. get two metal. That's quite, that is a really good card, isn't it? Um, I will... Which I might make a bell with next turn. And then gain what? Four points. Eight points. Eight points, goodness. That's the plan. Might not work. Okay. Um, but it can't be a bad event because Gemma's not gone there. Um, I will take the one point. Yeah. Okay. So, so then it's me, then Nick, and yeah. Gemma. Okay, so. The points have gone. Oof. Oh, this is terrible. Um, yeah, nine money and I'm going to get hit by the taxes. I'm going to go up to 11. I've got to go here. Okay. And then it's me. I will go to the market. And I will go down. Yeah, because I need to go into the next round with 10 money. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Event time. Gemma, if you will. Is it a good one, is it? <laughs> Crowds of volunteers help build the cathedral. Hooray. The yield of all building materials cards is increased by one. No! Is that these ones here then? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's exciting. All building materials. Yeah. Building so materials. anybody who went for more than one. Which is who? Gemma. <laughs> you've coined and it. that one so that I can increase that one. Well. As well. Mm -hmm. But I am losing, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the, these these are basically worth one extra. Mm -hmm. How, did you take any? I took this one. Okay. But the problem is I've calculated on getting four stone. All so. right. <laughs> Right, uh, we've done that, done that. Money. So blue gets two. Yellow uh, gets five, please. Five. We get to 15. I get this. Yeah. Which gets me two metal. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I need to remember, I've got this. I have my protective hand. Um, points. Uh, so two, two points for red, one point for yellow. It is very close, isn't it? It is. Right, resources. There's your one. Thank you very much. You're um, getting. Three, four. three plus one four. Yeah. Quarry is three plus one four, and I'm four plus one five. Uh, gravel pit five, please. Four plus one five. Thank you. Okay, so you get a metal. None of us pay any taxes, but the taxes would have been would have been five again. <laughs> nice. Uh, you get super carpenter, and I will um, take out that one and market time okay right i will i'll sell my 
So it's just me, so I can just keep it's going, just you. can't I? He goes as many so times as you want. I will sell that metal for, for five, five. Yeah. please. Um, and then I will buy three wood for nine. Yep, yeah. nine. And I will then sell one gravel for two. Sell gravel for two. I'm playing games here, but it's quite literally, but yeah. Okay. Yep. Right. Um, who's the star player? You're the star player, aren't you? So we'll do your craftsman first. Um, so four. Four points for the mason. Four points for the mason. One, two, three, four. And four points for the carpenter. One, two, three, and four. And one for my architect. And one for the architect. Okay, nice. Um, so I will take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, please. Okay, and I've got three, four, five, eleven. Yeah. Yeah, because that's one stone for two points up to three times. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Cool. Okay. Happy Paul. <laughs> and then do I put this one? Yep. Yeah. And there you go. Have there. I got it right? Yeah, yeah right. that's it. <laughs> right. Let's reset for the last round. So nobody wanted Otto Blackface. Sorry, mate. Came out too late. Nobody wanted Mr. Goldsmith. Resource card. Oh, five resources. Discard down to five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Fine. Can you pass me my red ones from over there, yeah. please? Bang. Did anybody take the two extra work? No. No, but I, I took start play. Okay. So. Oh, thanks very much. It goes to me. Oh, uh, we need three more um, wood. Three, three more wood in there. And then let's, this is, this is important. This. And then Gemma, you Easy get to yours. view this one. This is a big moment for you, isn't it? Well, yeah. If it comes out there, mm -hmm. I will probably buy it. Would you mind doing the? Oh yeah, sure. Set up those as well. Has so everybody got all the resources? You need your gravel pick. Oh, sorry, card. yeah. Yeah, well, guess what? Somebody else want to pick? Yeah, I will. So these are the two that are going in showing. Oh. In showing, we've got and on. All right. Okay. How do you feel about that? Well, Bit I, I just need to make sure I come out of the bag first. Yeah. Oh, and you can of course influence that. Can't I you? can you influence can that. Put someone back in once, can't yes. you? Yes. Okay. And then the thing is, nobody else has got any metal, mm. so that's actually not much use to anybody else. No. This is also important. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, that's okay. We're all right with that. Okay, so me first. I need stone. I need three stone. The event card that re reduces them all by one has gone, so I think I just spend eight workers to collect the three stone. Yeah. That's the other reason for going first. If only one stone card came out mm. and I was third player, yeah, I'm with you. I wouldn't have got it. Stevie's saying, yes, great television series was good. I've not seen the second one. The first one was very good. We were talking about it earlier on. The number of famous actors that were in the television series um, that weren't that famous at the time. Um, Eddie Redmayne, Hayley Atwell. That was the name, Hayley mm. Atwell. Oh, yeah, came yeah. To me. Um, yeah, they were they were in the TV series. Rufus Sewell was in it as well. Lovejoy was in it. I can never remember what Lovejoy's actual real name is, but <laughs> everybody just calls him Lovejoy. So, yeah. so. Uh, Ian McShane, that's it. But yeah, really good TV series. If you haven't read the book, um, oh, Two Money, thank you. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always forgetting my toolmaker. Yeah, chat keeping me active. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to go for um, the little Steinbrook. Five, yeah. Two. Okay. Um, I am going to go one, two, three, four, four, three. Stay. Okay. Right. So what do we want to do now? <clears throat> uh, well, I guess we need some wood. And we need two of it. So, yeah, perfect. Let's have that. I would pay six oh. for... Oh, yeah. Get one metal, get a stone and a wood. Okay. 
What's that get you? Um, four. Six for three. Okay. I'm really torn here because I've got sort of a strategy in my mind, but it's either going to go really, really well or really bad. Yeah, I am. Goldsmith and then pass? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'll buy the goldsmith, please, for seven. And I have to get rid of somebody, don't I? Yeah. Is that immediately? Yeah. I pass. Mortar mixer. No victory points for masons. I want to keep it. Um, who do I want to get rid of? I've got a woodworker here. That's no good, is it? Because I've got a better carpenter. No wood. I want to. Okay. Mm. Uh, sorry. I will. It's a tricky one, isn't it? I want to keep that one. I'll get rid of my mason because I haven't got any stone anyway. Okay. Yeah. Can you just pop that over there, please? Thank you. Right to you, Gemma. Um, I. You're like... passing. And I will pass. passing as well. Okay. Get rid of those. We don't need those now. Bag time. Let's just check we've got two of each. We do have two of each. Right. Here we go. Pass, please. Cool. Now I want this one to be red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got to do it, haven't I? Yeah, it has to be done. It's been six. So we're down to five. I've not used my ability yet. Uh, and I will be going last. Um, I will Hang on. spend Hang five. On. Hang on. Oh! I'm not giving it you yet. I thought you put me back in the bag a second ago. Oh no, you didn't, did I you? I didn't. Oh, okay. I was thinking about it, and then I realised you couldn't have afforded the seven, so... Oh, OK. <laughs> so, seven plus one is eight. What are you thinking? What's your thought process? I'm, because money's not going to be worth anything at the end, mm -hmm. I'm trying to work out if the taxes are four, that gives me four. That means if I spend five, it's... Oh, it's... I might lose a point. Hmm... So is it worth me losing a point to gain a point, or is there something else that's actually going to be better for me? Or you could... Oh, I'm going to get... Oh, no, but that's after. That's not to say that you're even going to come out next anyway, though, is it? You could put no, me back in the bag. No, that's absolutely true. No, I'm going to give it to you. OK, I will spend five, please. Okay. And I will go on the metal space, please, Paul. Okay. Yeah, that was the that was the choice I should have made to deny you the metal. So I haven't used my ability yet, and we're down to four. So I am going to spend four. That well, goes me down to three. That may, yeah, okay. So down to three. Mm -hmm. um, that should be there. I will pass. So you pass on three, and then it's you again on two. I'll pass on two. Okay. <laughs> and then the bag is empty. So it's yellow for three. Um, I'm going to go there, please. Okay, followed by red, red, red. I'm going to go there. Okay, so you're buying the sculptor. And Steve is asking about the Arkham Horror Living Card Game and Tom says yes, absolutely. So I have a group uh, which is not meeting at the moment because of lockdown, but I have nine or ten videos for the Arkham Horror Card Game on my channel. So I've done the whole of uh, Knights of the Zealot and the whole of... What was it we did? I can't remember, but it's all on there. I've done a, I've done a whole series. Uh, the whole thing's on there. It wasn't done each. It was... It was the one after Dunwich, and I can't remember what it was called. It's me now, isn't it? Yep. Carcosa, that was it. Path to Carcosa. Right. So there's no point going there in the last round of the game. No. In fact, there's no point going there in the last round of the game. 
You could though, if you wanted to. If you're really feeling dangerous. <laughs> if if you're confident with your lead. Well, this this is of no use whatsoever unless I want a, a, a resource, and I don't because I'm getting two wood, which goes on there. I'm getting. Oh, hang on a minute! I have completely messed this up. Why? I took that to get three stone. I've already got three stone left from last round. Oh. Did I not spend that three stone? Yeah, well, you did. You did spend it because you took eleven points altogether. Yeah, you but, had five, and but, then. But did I actually? I'll have to check back. I think he's wasted anyway. So. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, because I've no use for the stone. Can anyone in the chat rewind and see if if Paul removed it? Yeah, if anybody's if anybody's able to, did I did I literally have six stone last turn and I used three of it, or did I forget to spend my three stone? Either way, I don't think that's going to do anything. Oh, there's a point. Magic. Yeah, because I'm not going to the market, so it actually doesn't matter. Right, mm -hmm. we're all good. Yeah. The final event then. Am I going to get protected from it, or is it good? William Hamley raises taxes or players lose four gold. I will be protected from that. Right. <laughs> so what does that mean? So then? that means uh, you've only got one. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay three. You owe three. Okay. And it's rounded in your favour. You lose one point for every two gold you can't pay. So I lose. So you lose one point. Okay. You have four. So you pay it all. There you go. Whew. Oh, in fact, that would have been... I wouldn't have lost any points from that. Mm -hmm. But then the taxes would have come round and I would have lost points from that. Yeah, okay. Right. So you get that. And you get a stone and a wood. And you get that and you get a metal. Thank you very much. I get three points. One, two, three. And then resources. So I get two wood in the forest. Um, I get three wood. Three wood. And I take one wood for my card, please. One wood for your card. That's been quite good getting that one. It has. Really. I get three pointless stone. Uh, and you get uh, two. two. And then sand. Uh, three, please. Three sand. And then you get another metal. Yeah, brilliant. And then we roll the dice, and it's just me that has to pay. Forgot to do this. Oh. So yellow should get eight. Please. Red should get one. I should get one. In fact, it doesn't matter if this is a five, because it's rounded in favour of me. It's two. There you go. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that, we've done all that, we've done that. I get that. And I get this one. So I will replace this one. Well, I might as well replace the glass blower because I forgot to buy some sand. So Andrew says okay. you had six stone in total. Okay, earlier. right. So yeah, okay. So Thank I, you. Yeah, I miscounted. I've got three useless stone. Right, mark it. Right. What would you like? Um, I, I've got a bit of money on those. So I actually, I want to put that one onto there. So I will, so that's three. I'll buy one Seven. of these yeah. for two and I will sell these two for 10. Yeah. Uh, which go there. And that's, I think all I want to do. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I make two bells for eight points or I get two money make two bells for eight points make two chairs for two points that's ten sixteen uh, so one plus fifteen and I'm gonna spend it um, so I have one for the architect yeah um, six for my sculptor because it's um, two for each one yeah. and then four for my carpenter yep yeah. And that's everything. Okay. Okay. Um, so I will go three, five, six for all of these three, for these three cards here. Yeah. Um, and then I've got f 16, 16 money and I can spend three for one. So what can I do? I can spend that for five points. Five points. Right. Okay. I'm going to put that on there. And that's it. Wow. Now, I was hoping I was going to have a last turn, uh, a good last turn, but yeah. I'm surprised. I'm surprised I jumped that far ahead because it was very, very close. Yeah. You took a lot of points at the end. That sculptor mm. was amazing. Mm. That got me six points last time. Yeah. And six points. I mean, this time was 
yeah, it was sixteen points from here mm-hmm. plus the three from here. So I had I had a very good last round. Yeah, really good. Um, yeah. Thoughts? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, I thought that was really good actually. I'm really into worker placement games at the moment, like we were talking about mm-hmm. earlier, and yeah, I, I really liked it. Gemma, initial impressions? Yeah, no, I I really enjoyed it. Um, I was a bit struggling um, to visualise what I needed to get points to begin with, but then as we went on, I started to get into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was your first game, so yeah, yeah. Forty four is a good good mm. score for a first game, from what I remember. I mean, I think this is mechanism the down the bottom. The tie here. play with the most gold wins. Oh, look at that! Oh. <laughs> so it's actually an absolute tie for second place. Is it? <laughs> yeah, because gold is the tiebreaker. Uh, craftsman. Low rated the board. What's this? Low rated card. The craftsman. Okay, that's just something else. But there you go. Tom was keen to turn the tiebreaker. Yeah, so this bit go. down there the is... bottom here is a really interesting. This is this is well, really really clever. Which is really painful if there's something that you desperately want yeah. on the board, isn't yeah. it? That it's, you don't want your opponents. To it, take. It's nice. Uh, you've got the two parts. You, you've got the first bit, which is the the drafting the cards effectively mm. using your workers as that yeah and then the second part is the is the worker placement bit with the bag and the diminishing cost mm. is genius mm. i wish i'd realized at the very beginning how valuable the market was and i think i was the only person that spent a lot of time i went there, there once i think i went there three maybe yeah. four times and to me to have cards that were one for one which is where you guys did really well at the end because you yeah. were going to say one for two which i probably should have focused on a bit more but actually then being able to sp- sell the metal to then buy Mm. resources from here to put on your cards yeah that what you did with the market mm. that's not common is it not no nope. but it is, is a that to- a good thing or not though? well no it's a, it's a totally acceptable strategy yeah to actually use the market regularly sell mm. some to sort of buy stuff and everything else mm. but normally you'll find i mean you didn't go to the market at all no i didn't go yeah. at all so you can play the whole game and not mm. go to the market yeah but the market can be really useful mm. i mean that turn i went to the market was essential yeah because i was saving up the metal mm. and i just went there got rid of it that gave mm. me the money that i needed money. to buy the things that i needed to do in round five and six yeah and like i mentioned to you at the start me taking the start player in round five mm. was because i wanted the bellcaster mm. yeah i absolutely wanted the bellcaster and then when the two metal card came out here mm. i was like okay yeah yeah we've got to try and do that yeah, I mean, I, I, I think this is a fantastic game. Mm. I, you know, I got it when it came out. I played it a whole bunch. Um, I joke regularly that I have about 50 top 10 games. Yeah. You know, somebody, and I'll say, oh, yeah, this is a top 10 game for me. Yeah. And I will say that about 50 games. <laughs> to be honest, this is probably actually a real top 10 game for me. Mm. I don't know where in that top 10. Yeah. But I, yeah, w- without the tweak that we've played tonight, with the master builder bag mm. the game's an 8.5 out of 10 for me yeah but i played a couple of games where certainly in a four player game one player it was just the last three drawn out and they went mm. i've got the money mm. but my, my my token never came out yeah. which means i was denied the opportunity and in a four player game everywhere just gets snapped up yeah um with the tweak that we played with which kind of balances out the the master builder bag um a bit mm. it, it, yeah the only issue i've got with the game is it's optimum at three yeah four's a bit too tight mm. two it's a bit too open yeah so the scalability of I mean, it still works as a two-player game but mm. it is best with three which is something that i'm sort of thinking because uh, we've said before that we play our games mostly at two yeah and i really like it and i know some of you're saying in the chat there is a, you, there is a you can cover game. spaces to make it a little bit more yeah a little bit more playable at two players absolutely but... right let's talk about the expansion quickly because <laughs> i do have the expansion oh okay um so it introduces two new player colors so it does take it up to six mm-hmm. um it introduces um a whole bunch of extra well there's an extra gravel pit so mm-hmm. there's now 10 resource cards okay that you pick from um but there is a whole bunch of slightly variant are these the starting ones i think these are the starting ones is this an english copy or is this one yeah it's an english one? expansion which is why you've got yeah an english oh, reference okay, sheet. Okay. that's from the orange player um so yeah there are some slightly different ones of these okay that, that mix things up a bit mm-hmm. and you don't you don't just add them in yeah out of the whole collection you pick four at okay. random so every game will be slightly different okay so it adds more variation there's, there's more variability in, in these there's more events okay 
Um, there's more of these cards, whatever these cards were called. So a lot more variety in terms of that. Yeah. But the main thing is the extra board. Okay. Extra board? Extra board. Yeah. So we have an extra board, which goes here. Um, so again, if you were to play with the expansion with three players, all of a sudden, mm. you've, even, you've got even more space now. Yeah. But when you're playing with five players, you need these extra spaces. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there's basically, um, there's, there's, way, there's the Crusades. Okay. It's basically spend spend workers to get points. Okay. Uh, there's an extra card that goes up there, mm -hmm. um, which is France. There's an extra card that goes there, so there's always three available, okay. I think. So that's always that a privilege card or something, I think. And then there's a, a slightly different way of buying resources. Mm. Um, and the extra board, is that optional? Because I would almost like to, if I owned this game, I'd be tempted to keep it as just the board and add the new cards in. Just you can give do yourself that. more variety. Yeah, I think you can do that. I don't. I don't know whether certainly the the craftsman you can just add in. Mm. I don't think any of the new events refer to um, the Crusades. They might do. I'm not sure. I'm just having a quick look at them. No, don't think they do. Okay. But yeah. So yeah, there you go. Yeah. Ludo in the chat wants to know if you would consider a playthrough with the expansion as well. Uh, would I consider a playthrough with the expansion? And Paul is here in the chat. Have I played the expansion? I've played it a couple of times. Um, and yeah, it, it's. I think the base game is fantastic. I like the expansion mm -hmm. because if five people come around and want to play Pillars of the Earth, I now can. Okay. Right? Because five players with the expansion is, is just brilliant. Um, I'd be tempted to try playing with the expansion with three, but it's just it's just a bit too open. That house rule we were playing, that's mm. what this is for. Okay. That is where you put the uh, the, the third master builder ah, in see. the order in which you pass. But okay. technically speaking, in the expansion, you're only supposed to use that variant with five and six players. Mm -hmm. um, but I use it. I use it with whatever. Uh, yeah, so would I do a playthrough for the expansion? So let, let's talk about this video and the reason why I'm doing this video. Um, funded through my Patreon campaign, every few months I'm basically doing what's called the Cult of the Old, where I'm picking an old game. Uh, well, I'm picking, I picked six of them, and, and my Patreon supporters voted on which game they wanted to see. This was the one that won the votes, which is which is why I'm doing it. So this is not a sponsored video. Um, obviously, Cosmos are very happy that I've covered the game because I think it is still available. <laughs> you said it was 20 quid. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wow. Which is crazy. Bargain. It's a crazy, crazy bargain price. Um, but no, this wasn't a sponsored video. It's funded purely through the Patreon campaign. So thank you very much to all of my patrons for supporters for, for funding the channel. Um, and yeah, it's those it's, it's those people that, that basically vote on what, which games I'm going to do. Um, what I will do is the next time I'm going to be doing a Cult of the Old video, I might put this game back on the list and say this time I'll play it with the expansion. If it, if it wins the vote, then, then I'll definitely do it. However, there's so many games that I've got that are more than <laughs> 10 years old that are maybe not as good as this, mm. but I've got, you know, Puerto Rico yeah. was on there, um, Alhambra was on there. Okay. I've got a whole bunch of other games that mm. are more than 10 years old. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll definitely be covering some more older games on the channel as i say every every two or three months i'll i'll, I'll dig out an old game and, and do it a playthrough but other than that we're all done um thank you very much to everybody for watching again thank you very much to all of my patron supporters thanks to you two again for, thank you. for stopping by yeah well done paul um we'll see you next time thanks very much everybody see you later Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.